everyone. Happy Friday, Freedom Friday. Super excited about our star-studded guest here this morning. We have Zaretha Thompson. Zaretha, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Tom. I'm doing great. Awesome, awesome. Well, if we could jump right in, and first, if you could share a little bit about yourself, that'd be great. Okay, hello, everyone. I'm excited to be here on the show with you today, and hopefully I can impart a few nuggets here and there for you. Um, my name is Zaretha Thompson, and I am the CEO and broker of Gorey and Thompson Real Estate. I've been in real estate over 31 years. I know I look... I look young, but <laughs> um, anyway, and I've owned you were 12. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I've owned my own company. We just celebrated our 25th year anniversary. Um, I've been doing REO for a long time. Like Tom, we've been colleagues for many, many years. I've been doing REO for 30 years. And um, I always tell people I like to have fun like Tom too. So um, I can be seen riding one of my Harley Davidsons around town. But that's pretty much um, it about me. Also, I just want to note, too, that um, I'm coming in as the 2022 Sacramento Realtors Association president. Wow, wow. Well, Zaretha and I have been friends and colleagues for a long time. Yeah. And um, so when I reached out to her, we were kind of collaborating in, on what she could share or would share. And she has been, become extremely successful with multi different levels. You know, of course, REO, um, as well as database and referral. And also, she's a pro at professional network and professional networking. So, Zaretha, if you could share a little bit about that, that'd be great. Okay, sure, Tom, no problem. Um, what I want to talk about today really is networking and thinking outside of the box. Um, but before I get into some of the organizations and things that I've done with networking, I really want to talk about the etiquette towards networking, because I think that's very, very important. You know, a lot of times people join other organizations, but they say, well, I didn't get anything out of it. And I hate when people say that because I ask them, well, what did you do? They came to the meeting late, they left the meeting early, they didn't pass out any cards, and they sat there basically like a bump on a log. That is phone, not, right? huh? <laughs> or on their phone texting the whole time, right? Exactly. And that is not what networking is about. When you come from an attitude of service, when you join organizations, you'll get a lot more out of it. And what I mean by that is the people that um, join committees, or they do work on special events. Because like in the Realtors organization, all my lenders, the lenders that are on my board, the lenders that volunteer for, or, for different uh, events that we have, those are the lenders that I use because I see how they are towards the community. I see how they're, how they're heartfelt toward getting things done. Um, are they on time with the things that they do? And if they are, those are the people that I want to use in my business because I know that they're going to treat my clients with that same um, type of fortitude. And so make, basically make sure that if you join an organization, get on the board, get on the committees, do the work, and people will see how you are. And I'll talk a little bit more about that um, when I get into some of the organizations that I um, belong to. So I'm gonna start out with some of the smaller organizations that I joined early on in my, in my career. Um, Tom, I'm an avid skier like you. You probably didn't know that. And I know you oh, love I skiing. I did not know that. Awesome. Yeah, I've been skiing since I was nine years old. And so early on in my career, I joined two ski clubs. Um, one was the Ebony Ski Club and one was the Camellia Ski Club. And I've been a member of Ebony, Camellia's gone now, but I've been a member of the Ebony Ski Club for 35 years. And throughout those 35 years, I have so I have represented so many people, and then they gave me referrals, but I did not join the organization thinking of real estate. So this is what I'm talking about as far as thinking outside of the box. I joined because it's something that I love to do. Um, and then once I got my career going, I realized that 
I worked with a lot of people that worked for the state. I worked for a lot of people that were correctional officers, engineers. And so I started inquiring about those organizations. One of my clients was the president of the um, Black Correctional Officers Association. And so I asked them, I said, hey, can other people that are not correctional officers, can they join the organizations as a support? And he said, yes. So once I joined that organization, I started doing home buyer seminars for them. And so I started meeting other correctional officers that I probably would have never met had I not joined the organization. Um, I told you I ride a Harley. So I have a whole separate Facebook dedicated to all folks that ride motorcycles. I have 5,000, I'm up to my limit on that Facebook, but they're all separate than my regular one. And I network to those folks and think about this. And this is like I said, thinking outside of the box. A Harley is expensive, okay? And Harley Davidson riders, you know, we can be snobs at times. We don't wanna park our bike in a apartment parking lot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We need a garage to put our bike in. And so a lot of those Harley riders, I have sold houses and then they get a garage they get a second Harley, they need a third car garage. So it, it's thinking outside of the box, basically. Um, let's see, so I kind of want to make this a little interactive because I know, you know, I can't really see who's on here, but I've been talking to Tom, I know that there are a lot of younger folks than Tom and I. Um, I'm what they call a double OG in real estate and Tom's a triple OG in real estate. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but I know that there's probably some young folks out there younger than us. So there are other groups that you can join. And I was just trying to brainstorm with myself, trying to think, okay, what other groups? There's, there's Fortnite. I know you, some of you guys out there like to play Fortnite, right? There's online groups. There's, if you like to paint, if you like photography, um, if you like um, skateboarding, whatever it may be. Think of some organizations or groups that you can join outside of real estate groups so that you can gain clients. Um, and like I said, once you get in these groups, please make sure that you volunteer. You could even sponsor a night. Like let's say you do fantasy football, sponsor a fantasy football night, um, with you being the sponsor, sponsored by EXP, provide all the food. Um, those are different type of networking things that you can do. There's knitting, crochet, um, is there anyone in the audience that can think of something that you like to do that might be outside of the box? Okay, come on. Don't be shy, you guys. What hobbies do you guys have? Come on, don't embarrass me. We got to talk here. Let's go. We're a team. <laughs> Archery. Oh, that's cool. Brazilian jiu jitsu. Jiu jitsu. I, didn't hear, you know what? I can't hear that well. What was that I couldn't hear? Jiu-jitsu. Oh, you're right. a tough guy, huh? <laughs> no, somebody else said it. But oh, yes, I do okay. jiu-jitsu. Oh, cool. So, so you kind of get the idea of what you can do outside of just real estate and joining other groups. And, you know, early on in my career, there was a saying that I, I went by and I lived by it. And it was from Les Brown. And it said, act on your ideas or somebody else will. And, you know, try it one time and see how it works. Let's well, see. You know, I love the fact, Zaretha, that you started off with attitude and mindset. It's an attitude of service. You know, where you can't go in, what am I going to get? What am I going to get? You know, because you, you'll get nothing, right? So you go in to serve. And I love the fact that you think outside of the box, you have to be creative and have fun. You know, whatever you do, have fun with it and connect with others. And I like the fact also that then you just tie in social media. Social media is huge right now. You know, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, all of those great things. Um, I love the fact that you said, go ahead and put together your own special group uh, you know, the people that, you know, whether it's jujitsu or yoga or archery, go ahead and put that together. That is super simple to do. And it's definitely a way to connect with others. So those are just a few things that 
that I a few nuggets that I grab right out of the gate. Yes, Tom, and and you're so right because you talk about content. I mean, look at you, your skiing. People want to see your personality also. They want to see you doing other things. <laughs> look, look at the rock star. <laughs> Oh, I'm sweaty. But um, just like the jujitsu ju -jitsu thing, I mean, post pictures of that, post pictures of your archery. You probably already do that. But as you join these organizations, post pictures of you volunteering, you know, different things like that. It, it's, it, it's definitely content. Um, so the second thing I want to talk about are trade associations. So as I mentioned, I'm coming in as the 2022 president of the Sacramento Realtors Association, which is the African-American um, Real Estate Association here in Sacramento. My late business partner was actually one of the founding members. Um, but I've also, I don't know if you know this, but um, I'm half Korean and I was born in Japan and I was one of the founding members of ARIA here in Sacramento. And so those are different groups. There's NARAP different groups that you can join, but in joining, even being in the Realtor organization, you can network within that organization. And sometimes people say, well, it's a bunch of real estate agents. Well, guess what? When I go to the conferences, I go to the state conference, I go to the national conference. I've been a, a member of the Realtors for over 30 years. And you can best believe when I go to the national conference, if anyone says Sacramento, guess who they're gonna think of? They're gonna think of me because I've been on the national board, I've been on the state board, I've been on the local board, I've been involved in committees. And every time I go to a national conference, I always get a referral, always. People are gonna think of me and I'm not trying to be braggadocious or anything like that, but I put in my time, I've networked with people and I find out, I, I have found out throughout the years that your best, allies and your best source of information is networking with other real estate brokers and agents in other areas because you can get information like with the REO conferences I can find out okay what companies are you using in Florida here are the companies that I'm getting business from in Sacramento so we're networking and we're exchanging information around the country and people who are maybe not in your area are more willing to share information with you. And besides that, if you don't do REO and you go to a realtor conference, guess what? I found out there are a lot of people that are way smarter than I am in technology systems and things that they have. And I network with them. Okay, what are you using for this? What's your best source of listing referrals? And you just keep those cards and you network with people. But also again, you have to come from a point of service because there are some people that always want information, but they never give it out. Don't be one of those people. You, you have something to share with them so that it's equally beneficial. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, and then I'm going to move on to, Tom, did you have anything to say about that? Oh, you know, so I have synopsis. I'm just taking copious notes here because um, the five, the six that I've got here, number one is have an attitude of service. So start with that. Start with your mindset. Start with your heart. Number two is to um, just do it. You know, so many people get overwhelmed. They'll go to a Zoom meeting or a conference and they get overwhelmed. The one difference that I've met with top mega agents like Zaretha across the country, the one difference between agents that ha the haves and the have nots, the agents that are successful, they take action. That's the one thing is they just take action. So have an attitude of service, pick one of your fun things that you do, and then just take action. Um, and then just be consistent, you know, don't be a flash in the pan. You have to realize that it's a long game. It's the turtle that's going to beat the hare every single day. It's not about being great. It's about being consistent. And then also just be creative. Think outside of the box. And then the last thing that came to mind was put on an event, right? I know, Zarita, you go to events and you put on events. 
Um, and that's pretty cool. And then when you connect with other realtors, then how many times have you gone to a seminar and you actually have learned more in the hallway than you did in the classroom? Yes. Uh, connecting with the other agents. So uh, those were some of my nuggets, but we're on a good roll, Zaretha. Back to you. Go ahead. All right. Thanks for the synopsis, Tom. We make a good team here. <laughs> Um, so moving on from those type of organizations to the bigger organizations that I belong to, um, once I got into my REO career, there are other organizations that I joined. One of them is Real Mac. They just changed their name, though. They're, now they're NADP, which is a National Association of um, Default Professionals. And I just came from, and they have, uh, these organizations have certification. So if there's different areas of real estate that you're interested in, whether it be REO, whether it be um, receiverships, probates, other types, there are organizations like that, that you can join that are specific to those niches in your real estate. So with Rio Mac, um, I just added last year, um, commercial real estate to my book of business. And so I did a year of commercial coaching. I um, joined um, um, a couple of NCREA, which is a, a national commercial organization. And um, I, I've, I've done very well in commercial. I really, really love commercial. I just closed my fifth commercial deal for the year, um, for the one year that I've been coaching. So, but I joined those specific niche organizations and things that I'm interested in. And then I go in deep, I get involved. And so now with NCREA, on February the 7th, they're going to do a seminar, kind of like a talk like we're doing right now on me, um, because I got involved on a, on a higher level with the organization. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I'm a member of the NRBA, which is a National REO Brokers Association. And um, I got involved, I became the master broker, uh, one of three for California which means that um, when a, a company is looking for, let's say they they want to place a property in, in Shasta County and they can't find a broker there, then I'm the liaison between the company. But I started with that and now I moved up to the national uh, master broker. So me and another uh, gentleman, Robert Smith, we're in charge of all the master brokers throughout the state. And so think about that. When companies are thinking about Sacramento, who are they going to call? They're going to they're going to think about me. So that's the part of being in service, um, having a, an attitude of service. And then I'm also a member. I just joined the U.S. REO Partners Association. Now these organizations, these two organizations, especially the NRBA and the U.S. REO Partners, the the association fees are very expensive. They're one seventy five and one sixty five a month. So you have to kind of build up to that. Um, but if that's something that you're really interested in, then I would definitely recommend joining an organization like that. Me personally, there are other things that I want to do. I want to do more probate. Um, and so I'm starting to look for probate organizations that I can join with attorneys and, and county clerks and things like that, that I can network with. So those are some of the organizations um, that, that you can join. Um, We've got a question here from Russ. Yeah. How in the heck does Zarita keep track of all of the event events and decide how to prioritize? Uh, we see you everywhere, every day. <laughs> You're a dynamo. Uh, last night, you were singing and acting on a virtual <laughs> meeting. This morning, you're on our show here. Uh, so uh, how do you prioritize uh, to provide the most value? That, that, is, <laughs> that is a very good question. Um, one of the things I can say is that I'm pretty, I'm very organized actually. Um, and I get up at 5.30 every morning. So I set a little bit of time aside in different chunks of what I need to do to get things done. And then I do prioritize my events um, as far as what's important to me. So I don't participate in every single thing from every organization, but I really like to do the community work. You know, when they have community events and things like that, I, I try to prioritize, prioritize those type of things. But yes, you do have to be organized very well to do what I do, because sometimes it does drive me crazy. <laughs> Good question. 
That's great. Well, we've got about five more minutes, Saritha. So what other nuggets do you have to share? Well, what, the number one nugget, you guys, is just try it. Try it. Jo find an organization that's outside of real estate. Join the organization. Come from a service point of view. Hold an event and just try it. Because when people see how you are, they see your heart, they want to do business with you when they learn your personality. Um, I, that's just my number one thing is to do it. Absolutely. Well, and then Zarita, if anyone wants to reach out and get a hold of you, what's the best way? The best way is through email, Zarita Sells, S-E-L-L-S-R-E-O at gmail.com. Um, you can have my cell number, but please text me because a, a lot of times I live out in the country for one, and sometimes the phone calls don't come through. So 916-601-7653. Awesome. If you have any questions, I would love to help you. Well, Zaritha, have fun either out on your Harley or skiing this weekend or whatever. Thank you so much. Now, all of you, we got all of our inspiration. Now's the time to put in the perspiration. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, Zaritha, and Merry Christmas. All right. Thank you so much. This was fun, you guys. Merry Christmas. See you later. Thanks. Bye now.